everyone, this is Joe with Nina Media and I'm here to talk about the 2021 African DS4 Festival held in Campbell Park in Milton Keynes. Now I initially heard about this festival through my dad who's one of the organisers and he asked me to join in along with him in order to do some volunteering work and I was thrilled by the opportunity that Nina Media gave me in order to go around the festival, see what's going on, all the different aspects of it. Now there's a lot of coverage that we got but we can't show it all to you right now because then you'd all get confused and muddled so we figured we'd split it into different chunks and episodes so that you can see each and every aspect of the festival but in more digestible chunks we're going to start with the people on the ground how people were reacting to what happened all the comments that they had and all the different opinions that they had regarding the event the event turned out excited eh? as you can see the turnouts yeah great yeah it's very good i think the fact that it hasn't rained yet uh, is a good (laughs) fact that yeah yeah. if it's going to rain it won't be until like 8 p.m or (laughs) if you had to choose what would be your like favorite aspect of the festival well i can't even say this is my favorite aspect but I know from the beginning, from mm. when the music starts in the morning, the mm. gathering of the people, the energy coming from the crowd, the way people perceive mm. what's going to happen, and then you have the um, what do you call it, the dance show. Yeah. Then you have the talent show. Mm-hmm. Then you have the um, what do you call it, the fashion show yeah. that is coming on, and then later on in the evening, the musicians. Mm. I think that's going to be great. Nice. Thank you very much. It was, um, it was difficult. Mm. There were so many challenges. Yeah. But hopefully, with the help of you know. Uh, people here and with the keeping actually the rules, the rules, the restrictions, we'll be able to make the day successful and yeah. unforgettable day for everyone here. Mm. So my name is Muhammad Khan, I'm a mayor of Milton King. I'm so glad to be here seeing diverse community celebrating the, all the special food, spices and music, party. I can't complain. Milton King is champion when it comes to diversity. Paul Day and I'm the mayor of Newport Pagnell and that's a part of Milton Keynes where we're our own little town just outside. <laughs> right. Paul, thank you so much for agreeing to do this today. How exactly did you find out about the African DS4 Festival? Well, um, I can tell you, I'm the mayor, but the deputy mayor of my town is a lady called Binta Barfakoa, mm. and she's from Sierra Leone, hence my t-shirt, <laughs> and, and she invited me down. I'm really pleased to be here. It's fantastic. So what would, what's your favourite aspect of the DS4 so far? I think I'm learning stuff, which is good. Uh, I'm, an, uh, I'm a sponge for information about other people's cultures, <laughs> about... Uh, you know, flavours, nice. the food is, is superb, the fashion, it's really good. And the music, I'm loving the yeah. music behind us as well. Is there anything that you... So Milton Keynes, it's the beacon of the UK. Yes. We are melting pots. As the mayor rightly said, we come together in Milton Keynes, we, it grows. The beautiful diversity, so I'm absolutely mm-hmm. excited to be here representing Newport, the historic town of Newport, Newport Park. Park. Councillor Emily Darlington. Uh, how did you find out about the African DS4 Festival? Oh, I was invited by a couple of people who are part of the African diaspora communities and they know that uh, you know that my youngest was born in Kenya and so they wanted to invite me here to, to, to partake and it's been a brilliant day, hasn't it been gorgeous? Yeah, it's been lovely. Nice, so what else would you say is your favourite aspect of the festival? Oh, it's got to be the music. Yeah. It's got to be the music. <laughs> I mean, I, the talent show was amazing. Yeah. Um, my kids have been non-stop dancing. You know, uh, the drumming, oh, the music. So let me pose this question to you. Have any of you ever interviewed a police officer before? The answer kind of links into something that happened to me while I was doing my coverage of the DS4 event. So my producer came up to me and he pointed to the police officer booth and he said, I want you to interview one of them. And I was like, what? And he said, yes, go interview one of them. And the way he said it made it sound like it was an order, like as though I had to do it. So I went and I actually interviewed a police officer. So let's just take a moment and see how that turned out. I assume you came because of your job, but like, <laughs> where, cause you were, what made you decide to want to come here? Well, we like, me personally in, in the police, I like to try and promote as much diversity mm. as I can. Right. Um, my stepson is actually of Tanzania heritage as well. Um, so yeah, that's another reason why I was quite happily and, and liking to get involved, so yeah. 
Uh, what's your favourite? What's been your favourite part of the festival so far? Uh, the fish and rice from a stall over there was amazing. With some mm. really hot chili sauce. I think the food's yeah. going to be a favourite for most food, people. Yeah, <laughs> but also the parade was amazing as yeah. well. To see all the dress and um, the music as well. It's just it's, yeah, it's just really really good. <laughs> So yeah, that happened. I didn't actually think I'd be able to do it, but my producer, he was like, you have to do this. You've got to interview him. So I managed to do it. I mean, even though I haven't broken the law at all and I haven't really done anything wrong, so there's no reason for me to be nervous. It was still like pretty nerve wracking considering, you know, like how prestigious their jobs are and what they entail. But in the end, I managed it. And so we'll go back to talking to more audience members and more like people who attended the event and see what else they think about it. What compelled you to want to come here today? Well, I thought it would be a, a nice opportunity to get to see um, a lot of cultures and uh, I'm looking forward to especially um, having a bit of the different meals that mm. might be out there. Yeah, um, I think the meals are going to be everyone's favourite. The music, mm. the show is quite good, different kind of shows and people. Is there anything that you're looking forward to? No, I'm just enjoying the moment, really. Oh, nice. Happens, yeah. The people are really lovely. Mm. The food stalls and the drinks are like again. Yeah, mm. really nice. Ah, thank you, Natalia. Thank you. Mm. And uh, we are eating from different uh, stalls, different uh, places, different uh, countries as mm. well. And I find it amazing. The people are nice, everybody is, is, is nice. Yes, I do enjoy it. Nice. So what's been your favourite aspect other than the food? After the dancing, mm. the dancing, the, yeah. the clothes that they wear. And even, you know what, being here and see the people, all different people, not just African, we can mm. see white, we can see British people, and everybody go together very well. And the respect, you can see everybody show yeah. respect for everybody. I, I think it's important. Mm. It's amazing, it's a nice, beautiful day, mm. you know. All the African people, they are here, you go Uganda, Tanzania, mm. Kenya, Ghana, you know, Nigeria, so it's good. I like the setup as well. The vibe, you know, it's, it's been a pretty rotten year or so. Yeah. It's pretty awesome to see everyone kind of out and yeah. having a good time. And, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's amazing. Is there anything that you haven't experienced that you're looking forward to? Um, well, I mean, I, I understand there's going to be some, uh, some kind of like fashion show. Now, let me ask you this question. Have any of you had the opportunity to talk to somebody who's part of the royal family? or at least the representative. I did. I managed to interview a representative of Her Majesty the Queen. Now, I never thought I would ever get an opportunity in this life for me, and it was incredibly nerve-wracking, but at the same time, I had a lot of fun, and it was extremely exciting, and I hope you guys enjoy this clip. All people are the same, but African people need to be amongst their own people, and, and this is a chance for them to let rip, as it were. Yeah. This is they can come together and uh, re-establish old ties and form mm. new ties, and uh, I, I think it's terrific. Yeah. So, is this your first time coming to the festival, or did you come before? This is the first time to the festival, and uh, I'm going to come. I'm going to bring the whole family. <laughs> So many things happen in Milton Keynes, people don't understand. 75 different languages speak in our city. Look at just behind me, 54 different languages in your jacks there. 54 of them. And here we are in a Campbell Park, heart of a city, yeah. celebrating our diversity. our diversity. You can't go wrong. Yes. People are, look at the food cooking up oh, there. The clothing we wear. Milton Kings is a city of yes. unity, city of champion, yeah. only can diversity. Yeah. And I want to thank every one of you on this year, citizen, to invite me here. And I hope we can do more on the coming years and month. Thank you very much for having me. So guys, did you hear all that? All the people talking about the African Diaspora 2021, talking about how exciting it was, what they were looking forward to, what their favorite aspects were, especially considering it was during the times of COVID, which many people didn't think that a crowded event such as the Diaspora would be able to go ahead. But still, people showed up in their droves and had a good time. And also the weather turned out to be pretty nice as well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these clips. As you can see, the festival was completely sold out it was sold out even though it was free entry there was everyone was packed uh the food was just completely just eaten by everyone for good reason because it was absolutely delicious and we couldn't have expected such an amazing uh, outcome but it still happened which just goes to show there is definitely a market and value for events like this and festivals like this in Milton Keynes so here's hoping that next year's event will be just as big if not bigger I'm your host Joe for Nina Media don't forget to follow our Instagram Twitter and the African Diaspora Instagram as well thank you very much for watching